ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. It's Easter Sunday, the day Christ arose, and this holiday weekend, Team Bahamas looking to rise to the occasion at the Carifta Championships. We start off with Romico Knowles, who's with the track and field team down in the Cayman Islands. This Carifta update brought to you by Shield Insurance. Premier Travel, member of the International Air Transport Association. Thompson Trading, distributors of Gatorade, and by Generali Insurance. Day one of the 48th annual Carifta Track and Field Championships turning out to be a golden night for Team Bahamas, capturing six gold medals and two bronze. Coming down to the end of the night, Rima Odebar capturing Team Bahamas sixth gold medal in the under 20 girls javelin throw with a personal best of 43.08. She says it was a result of listening to her coach. My coach was telling me a little bit of corrections I needed to focus on when I went into run. And when I, fo when I went through the technique, um, it just came out of my hand and it looked good. The under-17 boys 1,500-meter finals was a close race from start to finish. Fatigue began to set in, nearing the home stretch. Curtis Mitchell mustering up energy coming from behind to take the lead, capturing Team Bahamas' first gold medal. Oh, that's an amazing feeling, you know, coming out here again to represent the Bahamas, a country that I love, and, you know, it was a tough race, but I'm glad I got to come through for the country. Here, um, I got tripped up um, early on in the race, and uh, I was, um, it threw me off a little bit, but... Uh, uh, going around the last stretch, I saw that um, everybody else was hurting as much as me, so I just like decided that I needed to go, and it was my race that I needed to go out and run and do that to win. The other 20 boys, high jump, Sean Miller securing Team Bahamas' second gold medal with a personal best of 2.16 meters. I'm coming into the competition, me and my sister, we would joke around with uh, something called Ruby Pulley. I declared 215 and now I declared 216, so I'm really happy with that. On to the under 17 boys 400 meter finals. Wendell Miller captured Team Bahamas' third gold medal with a time of 48.45. I've been amazed because it's my first time competing. And I came in to prove to everybody that I could do it. And I just go out there and prove myself. Now in the under 20 boys 400 meters, Terrence Jones powered his way through the finish to capture Team Bahamas' fourth gold medal of the night with a personal best time of 46.29. Proverbs 18, 16 written on his sprints, and he gives all thanks to God. Proverbs 18, 16 is, he'll give, make room for you, and bring you before a great man. And that's not my believer on my heart. That God gave me a gift as a way out, and it's me, for me to succeed in life. In the under-17 girls, 100 meter, Anthea Charlton capturing Team Bahamas fifth gold medal with a personal best time of 11.51 seconds. Hey. See the time, so this is a shocker for me. <laughs> this IPV twice in a day. <laughs> I'm really happy about that, and I'm happy to also get the gold. Reporting from the Grand Cayman Islands, for my cameraman Ashley Taylor, I'm Ramiko Knowles, ZNS Total Sports. From the Cayman Islands, we now head to Barbados for the Carifta Swimming Championships. Amajal Knowles has a breakdown of the first medal session. Well, after one day of competition, the bomb is well on its way as securing its spot as the premier swimming program in the region. This after day one, securing a total of 21 medals, including eight gold, one of them belonging to Kiana Moss, who took the girls 13 to 14, 50 meter backstroke in a time of 31.31 seconds. The swim was pretty good this morning. I had a okay start, but everything during the whole race was just how I wanted it to be. My suit was a bit loose, so I just wanted to get to the wall as quick as I could. I was surprised because when I first jumped in, my suit filled up as well, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Let me just try to get a medal. But then I saw the girl next to me, and I'm like, okay, gold right there, Kiana. Go get it. And I got it. I wanted to go uh, at least a 30 high, but I went a 31 low, which is my best time, so I'm still pleased. Also securing a gold in the boys' 15 to 17 hundred meter butterfly was Ian Pinder in a time of 56.80 seconds. 
Well, first of all, I would like to give God all the praise, honor, and glory because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have won that race. Um, I felt good on my breakup. My, I felt as though my breakup was strong because that's like my best part of my race, my underwaters. I had a strong turn, which was key inside of the underfly because, you know, my underwaters as well. Um, I, I started to fatigue a bit um, at the 15, the last 15 meter mark, but I kept pushing because I saw that I was in the lead. So yeah, that's how I won the race. Impressed with your time? Yes, sir. I am impressed with my time. Even though I added, I am still impressed with my time. Now, not to be outdone by the performances of her older brothers, Sadie Elizabeth Thompson, she took home the silver in the girls' 13 to 14 200 meter backstroke in a time of 2 minutes, 28.14 seconds. Moment up to it, I felt pretty good. I felt smooth and fast in the water. And I was excited because I knew that I was going in in a good spot and I wanted to bring a, home, a medal home. I had just seen, watched my eldest brother, Luke Kennedy, finish his 1500 and he had touched gold. So that just gave me the energy to do my best in my race. Head coach Toronto McPhee says he hopes his team will continue this momentum throughout the rest of the competition. Signing out from Bridgetown Barbados, I'm Amajal Knowles, ZNS Total Sports. The Carifta update was brought to you by Shield Insurance. Premier Travel, member of the International Air Transport Association. Thompson Trading, distributors of Gatorade. And by Generali Insurance. Our ladies Fed Cup tennis team closing out America's Zone 2 competition in Peru. Taking on the host in the final, a lot on the line. The winning nation would be promoted to Zone 1 next year. Danielle Thompson taking to the court first. She fell in straight sets, 6-2 and 1. It was a tough loss, you know, I did the very best I could. It was hard for me to find my rhythm in the end. I had a girl, she was able to be a little bit more consistent than I was. That meant everything was on the shoulders of Carrie Cartwright. She got up two early breaks in the first set and led three love. From there, though, it would be Carrie who had trouble holding. She dropped serve in her next four service games while only pulling one back and lost the first set 6-4. Carrie held her first two service games in the second set, but was broken again in the sixth game and the eighth game, giving Peru a 6-2 win to claim the match and a spot in Zone 1 in 2020. For Team Bahamas, they remain in Zone 2 for at least another year. I really tried everything that I could do possible to change things up, and I just want to say thank you so much for all the Bahamas support that came out here. Uh, we had a huge cheering squad, and Peru was just after us. But you know what? We came out strong, and that's what matters. But next year, we're coming out hard. From the minor league baseball diamond, Jazz Chisholm two for four. Both of those hits finding the seeds, giving him four home runs on the season. The first was a solo shot to right field in the second inning to open the scoring. The other came in the seventh inning with one on and two out, a two-run bomb to right center field. The Jackson Generals won 5-1 over Birmingham. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned to check on weather still to come. ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.